If you are a subscriber to our channel, then you already know that the aperture is the most important part of a telescope. The importance of an aperture is so much that most telescope manufacturers name the telescope according to the aperture size. For example, Nexstar 8SE. 8 is the aperture size of that telescope. The size of the aperture will determine how clear an image of an object you can see. A bigger aperture will give you a clearer and sharper image. It's the same as the aperture of a camera. A professional camera will always give you a better image than a camera of your smartphone. The phone's post-processing might give you a good quality image, but a big aperture professional camera will collect more light and the photos clicked with this camera will always be better than a small sized camera on your phone. The big aperture camera will have more depth and detail to the photo. Now you might be wondering, I must always buy a big aperture telescope. The answer is yes, but before doing that, you should consider some things. A larger aperture of a telescope does have an advantage in that it can collect more light. If it collects more light, then you will get to see more details of an object. For example, a small aperture telescope will show you a dim image of Saturn. But when you see Saturn through a bigger aperture telescope, then it will show you a bright image with a clear view of the division of its rings. When an aperture collects light, different types of telescopes transfer the light differently. If you don't know what are the different types of telescopes, then watch this video on the channel. When the aperture of a refractor telescope collects light, then it is transferred to the focal point, also known as the eyepiece. And when the aperture of a reflector telescope collects light, then the light is transferred to the secondary mirror and then to the eyepiece. There is always a loss of light in each mirror. If you take a refractor and a reflector of the same aperture size, then you will get better views from the refractor telescope compared to the reflector one. Another factor determined by the aperture size of the telescope is its magnification. If your telescope has a small aperture, then its magnification limit will not be much. But if it has a larger aperture, then you can achieve more magnification, giving you more details. Our eyes do the same job as an aperture of a telescope. The aperture of our eyes is just about seven millimeters. So a telescope, which has a 100 millimeter aperture is much more powerful and can see many times more than the human eyes. So should you just buy a bigger aperture telescope? Before buying a bigger aperture telescope, you should consider some things. The first one is the cost. Apertures are made up of the lens. These lenses need to be highly efficient to absorb maximum light. So manufacturing this lens is costly, and as the aperture is the most important part of the telescope, so manufacturing a bigger, highly efficient aperture is very costly. So as the aperture size increases, the price of the telescope also increases. If you go and buy the biggest aperture telescope, then it will cost you a lot of money. The second is the mobility. You'll not be able to easily move a big aperture telescope compared to a small aperture one. If you travel a lot of different stargazing locations, then this is one of the most important factors for you. The third is the skies in your region. If you live in a very light polluted area, then most of your bigger aperture telescope's potential will be wasted. The fourth is the what level of an astronomer you are. If you're a beginner, then buying an expensive telescope will not make much sense as you will not know how much you will be interested in this hobby. So as a beginner, you should go for an aperture of a maximum of six inches or below. If you are buying a telescope for kids, then an aperture of up to 100 millimeters will be sufficient. So what is the best aperture size, which will fit almost all of the criteria and give excellent results? The answer is that six to eight inch aperture size is the best for most people. The telescopes in this aperture range are moderately priced, they give excellent views of an object, and if you're a beginner and you start with a 6-inch telescope, the quality of images you will see from them will get you excited to learn more about astronomy and stargazing. These telescopes in this aperture range are not too heavy, so moving these telescopes to different stargazing locations is much easier compared to much bigger aperture telescopes. 
If you want to do astrophotography, then 6 inch is the minimum aperture you require to get excellent results. Whether you just want to do stargazing or astrophotography, before buying a telescope, one more factor you should consider is the focal length of that telescope. We've explained everything about the focal length in this video, so do check it out. So overall, a telescope's aperture is the most important fact you should consider while buying a telescope according to your needs. We've mentioned some good aperture telescopes in the description, so do check them out. And if you want to learn more about astronomy and stargazing, then also visit our website. We hope in this video you learned everything about the telescope's aperture, and if you did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.